How's it going, guys? It's Friday, February 23rd. I got to this week's freshwater video. Fun and exciting stuff, but let's get right into it. Starting this off strong this week, we've got a whole bunch of beautiful little pea puppers. We all know these guys are an absolute favorite of mine. It's just some really nice looking, round, plump, healthy little guys. Absolutely love to see it. One of the cutest fish in all the freshwater. Absolutely wonderful fish. Look how cute they are. And we got a bunch of them in, so that was a great time. Get some pea puppers for your tank. Next up this week, another absolute fan favorite. We have the beautiful bamboo or fan filter shrimp. These guys are an awesome, really nice big display shrimp species that is totally peaceful and just a happy-go-lucky little filter feeder. You can see them kind of filtering food particles out of the water now. Absolutely wonderful invertebrates. Really love these guys. And like I said, they're a bigger invertebrate, so they make for kind of a cooler display piece. Continuing on with, yet again, another absolute fan favorite. Really wonderful fish. We have the beautiful, ornate bushfish. These guys might not look like much when they're young, but they end up becoming what is arguably one of the prettiest fish in all of freshwater as they mature. Really, really awesome little Tinapoma species. Really cool guys. Don't get very big. Generally easy going. Absolutely love them. And boy, do they turn very pretty as they mature. Up next this week, we have a great fish for anybody who's looking for a fast, active, fun, and interesting bottom feeder to really help keep things clean. Or if you're looking for somebody interesting to help you get rid of a little bit of a snail problem, we have the wonderful yo-yo loaches. Named so because it almost looks like it says yo-yo on the side of their body, which is adorable. These guys are not a particularly large loach species. They stay quite reasonably sized. They love being in little groups, so it's always fun to watch them swim together. All of them have rather unique patterning and all around peaceful, great at keeping the bottom clean and really good at clearing out pest snail problems. And if you want all of that in a slightly bigger package that also happens to be one of the absolute prettiest loach species in the world, then look no further than here with the Burmese border loaches. These guys are pretty similar to yo-yos as far as temperament, climate and care goes. They do get slightly larger than yo-yos, but still not very big for a loach. And on top of that, they get those fantastic blues mixed in with all the beautiful black and whites. Really, really cool. These are just some youngins now, but as they mature, that beautiful blue color will come out more and more. Really awesome species. I absolutely love Burmese water loaches. Always excited whenever we get these guys in. And one final loach species to round out the loach part of this video. We have the ever lovable clown loach. What's not to love about them? I mean, they again have that wonderful loach body plan. They're fun, they're active, they love being in groups. They are strikingly beautiful with those bright oranges, reds, and both black stripes. They may get slightly larger on the size range of loaches, but still nothing not manageable wonderful fish overall absolutely love them and next up on this week's list is not the judo pottery who just came into frame but it's actually all the wonderful little dwarf neon rainbows hanging around him these guys are an awesome rainbow fish species that stays nice and small great for anybody with smaller tank systems or heavily planted systems but even though they're small they are strikingly beautiful as they mature, their bodies turn a beautiful powder blue neon, and the males get those really nice red fins, whereas the females get kind of more of a yellowish orange type of fin. Both incredibly nice. Absolutely love them. And up next this week, I'm always happy to feature cool plecos. And for this one, we have a beautiful Royal Pleco or L190s. Very common. Only known one, but not as commonly seen, at least not as much as they used to be. Which is a shame because they are beautiful plecos. I absolutely love these guys. Love the big old bulky head they have. In addition to the ornate in Lichuri and Senegal bike of last week, or Philipterus, 
we also now have some albino Seneca proliferus in right now. Some really nice looking chunky guys. Absolutely love to see it. So that brings us up to four different varieties of polypterus right now. Three species, four varieties. And you can see a normal and an albino next to each other there. And again, one of those really cool and lit your eyes hanging around back there. And a little ornate hanging out there. Now on to the section of the video where it is my favorite fish of the week. I don't know if I'm allowed to pick favorites, but if I am, then this is it. These beautiful little guys here are blue line licorice garamis. Licorice garamis are some of my favorite fish, just of all. Betas are one of my favorites, and licorice garamis are basically if you took a beta and shrunk it down. Really, really awesome fish. Very, very beautiful. Even these young ones are already starting to display some of their really nice colors, but as they mature, they really start to turn out some absolutely beautiful colors and patterns. Absolutely love them. Licorice garamis are one of the coolest fish out there. And like I said, they stay nice and tiny. As we round down to our last few fish of the week, we are coming around the corner to these absolutely beautiful pork chop rasboras. Very, very similar in shape and coloration to the harlequin rasboras, although I'd like to venture that I think the pork chops are a bit brighter and a lot prettier. And in addition to that, they're a bit smaller as well. So those of you keeping smaller nano tanks or heavily planted tanks will be happy to know that housing the pork chop rasbora in large schools, like they really should be because they're beautiful in schools, is much easier than say something like a harlequin or a larger tetra species. All around, super cool fish. I absolutely love these guys. They are very, very beautiful. Look at some of those striking oranges and blues. I absolutely love them. Continuing on with some smaller guys that make for great schools and planted tanks, we have the wonderful little ember tetras. And hanging out in with them here, we have a whole bunch of wonderful young little German blue rams. Well established, really nice looking and great for growing up yourself. Really awesome. Some real nice looking ones in the batch too. I love ram cichlids. One of the coolest small cichlids out there. And finally, to round us out for the week, I spent a good portion of this video talking about some really awesome bottom feeders, so I figured that's a great place to end us off with one really awesome bottom feeder. I love flagtail porthole catfish. I think they're really awesome. They're generally super peaceful, very easy going, easy to keep. They're like quarry catfish that just get a bit bigger. So if you've got a bigger setup or more large fish that you think might harass a quarry catfish, these nice little armored porthole catfish are really awesome. And they're, I think, quite a good looking little catfish too. I love the striped tail, the like layered plate armor on them is super cool. All around, absolutely love them. Alrighty guys, that's gonna do it for this week's video. Tons of really nice fish this week. I, again, didn't even get through all of them. There's still a few that didn't make the cut or might get edited out or otherwise. Some real neat stuff. Who knows, you may see some of them in next week's video. But until next time, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and any of our newer local customers looking for anything cool or interesting like our beautiful selection of discus, feel free to email us at contactexoticquatic.com. We'd love to see if we get in for you. Until next time.